strategy. It's like when a country is under attack, would you tell the army to stand down because we don't want to have any blood and guts? Well, you know, some people may say that, but it's not going to help. You're still going to be attacked. So what do you do? If you have an inflammatory condition, if you have an immune condition, if there's the word immune or inflammatory is in the disease, like autoimmune disease, or if it's in the remedy, like immune suppressant or anti-inflammatory, all you got to do is a couple things. It's very simple. Remove the offending agent is the most important thing. And when we talk about offending agent, we talk about something getting into the blood. There's only one major way things get into the blood, and that's through the digestive system. Yeah, you could stick it in through your skin, and maybe if you have a burn, or you know, if you're working in a nuclear power plant, or you're living in a mold uh, with a lot of mold, you may have some problems from a respiratory issue, from respiratory issues. Or, but the vast majority, 99% of the uh, stuff that gets into the blood is getting in through the digestive tract. This is just logic. It's not science. It is not biology. You don't need to have a medical degree. You don't need to go to college for eight years to understand this. You don't even need to be smart. I'm not smart. It's just common sense. If you have inflammation and immunity, you got something in the blood. Stop putting it in the blood. That means food. I'm not a food Nazi here, folks. I eat all kinds of crap. If I'm hungry and you put an apple pie in front of my face, I'll probably eat half of it. It's not about bad or good. We have this idea about food that we're bad people or we're good people. Or No, no, I can't have any, no gluten. I can't have any oats. Uh, I can't eat that. That's a bad food. It doesn't work that way. Eat what you want to eat. But if you have a degenerative disease, if you're ill, if you're not feeling good, you have an option. That's all this is about is options. It's not about us being bad people and feeling guilty for what we're eating. And, you know, we're humans. We're driven to eat certain foods and we're manipulated that way. Our brains are hardwired to find sugar. Our brains are hardwired to eat certain kinds of uh, spices. Our brains are hardwired to be attracted to certain chemicals that are uh, produced synthetically in laboratories and sold in, in foods. It's not our faults. But the point is, is that if we're sick, Drugs are not going to help us, and doctors are not going to help us. Doctors are not going to help us. The medical model is a failure when it comes to treating psoriasis and eczema. So all you got to do, we do it ourselves. We do it from the comfort of our own living room. Remove the offending agent. Seal the leaks that are allowing the offending agent to get in. So you remove it, you eliminate it, and then you patch up the gut. Use your bioluminightly essence. Use gummy substances, mucilaginous jelly substances, algaes and noni and aloe and, and uh, bone soup and cartilage containing products, mushrooms. And there's herbs like colt's foot and mallow that have a coating and soothing property on the digestive tract. Make sure you're, you're generously indulging in probiotics and fermented foods, grinding up foods, Taking it easy on the digestive system. I, you know, I know I say this all the time. It's not new. It's the same stuff because the body is generic. Our bodies are all the same. And that means our remedies are going to be generic. And then, of course, you've got nutritional supplementation, fats and fatty vitamins. I wanted to talk about vitamin E. We'll talk a little bit about it when we come back from our break and get to your phone calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. back on the bright side. Thanks for being here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We'll get, you here, uh, we'll get your calls here in a minute. we got lines open and I'll get to some letters here if we don't get phone calls. Got tons of letters I've been wanting to talk about, uh, wanting to address. Uh, so if you've written in, if you've written in, uh, we'll get your letters here. Oh, well, we'll try to get your letters here sometime today, sometime uh, in the next half hour or so. Okay, let's see. Uh, so, no matter what your health challenge is, seal the leaks, remove the offending agent, make sure you're on a nutritional supplement program, especially around fats and fatty vitamins. We've been talking a lot about vitamin E. I love this stuff. I was just reading an article from uh, the journal. Uh, current reviews. Actually, this is a letter. Why don't we use vitamin E in dermatology? And the guy writes this letter. Apparently, what they find when they find when they use vitamin E in dermatology, and this is how doctors think, we give the vitamin E like we give drugs. You have psoriasis, we'll give you vitamin E. Oh, that didn't work. Vitamin E doesn't work. This is how they think. 
Oh, you have a you have a, a heart problem? Oh, we'll give you vitamin E. Oh, and you still have a heart problem after being on the vitamin E for six months. That means vitamin E doesn't work. This is not how nutrition works. This is not what nutrients are about. You don't assess their value like you assess the value of a drug. And you hear these studies that come out periodically. Oh, we gave calcium to all of these people who had heart attacks, and, and they still had heart disease. Didn't help. Well, does that mean calcium is not appropriate and calcium is not important because it didn't work as a drug? That's not what nutrition is about. What we talk about in this program in terms of nutrients are essential substances. That means, the word essential, means they're like air. You need them like you need air. They're like water. You need them like you need water. If you don't get air, you're going to suffer from a deficiency disease called death. If you don't get water, likewise, and that's what all the essential nutrients are about. If you don't get them, you die. Now, when it comes to nutrients, the, the, the good news and the bad news about nutrients is there's a window. With air, you get a four-minute window. If you don't have air, enough air for four minutes, you're dead. With nutrients, you've got a longer window. So you may not be dead, but your blood vessels will be weak if you don't get enough vitamin C. You may not be dead but you're going to sunburn more readily if you don't get enough omega fats. You may not be dead, but you might not be thinking clearly if you don't have enough B vitamins. See, we're leaving health on the table is what it amounts to because we think, oh, I'm not dead, so I'm okay. That's how we think. I'm not dead, so I'm okay. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's more to life than just not being dead. <laughs> we could be excited. We could be thriving. We could be powerful. We could be rapid healers. We could be clear thinkers and brilliant thinkers. This is all the stuff that we're leaving on the table because we're happy not being dead. And yes, you, you'll get enough vitamin C with the RDA or with eating an orange every day or something to not be dead. But your blood vessels won't be extra powerful. They won't be as powerful as they can be. Our blood vessels are capable of being ridiculously powerful. Our muscles are, are capable of lifting cars. Our brains are capable of functioning without sleep for 24 hours. We, we can do all kinds of amazing things, but we're leaving health on the table, good health on the table, because we're satisfied with not being dead. So if you have psoriasis, if you have a skin condition, if you have a heart condition, if you have any degenerative disease, please let us help you. I'll tell you how to reverse it, and I'll tell you how to eliminate it, and I'll tell you how to do it without toxing the body out simply by using good nutrition, simply by using the stuff we're supposed to be getting into our system, and it's not getting into the system. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Rodney in Illinois. What's up, man? How you doing? Good morning. Hey, man. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, uh, I've, I've got two questions. Uh, okay. First, my, my daughter uh, doesn't have a health issue, but she, she just graduated from... Uh, the Therapy Institute in Denver, oh, okay. and um, she's been working in um, as a, as an in-home uh, health and uh, nutritionist assist assistant. She's a nutritionist, and, uh, though. Well, hang on, though, Rodney. She's a nutritionist. Is that yeah? Did I understand? Master Nutrition Therapist is her title. That's awesome. Do you know where she went to school by any chance? In De or, in Denver. Well, there's a few of them. Yeah. Do you, and, you don't know which uh, one? Yeah, the name called the Nutrition Therapy Institute in Denver. Okay. Okay. But cool. she's in. Um, she lives uh, around Monument. Uh, okay. Colorado. Okay. I know what and, that is. Uh, I, every time I talk to her about things I, I learn from you, she goes, oh, yeah, I'm, I know about that. <laughs> okay, and, good. Uh, you know, every once in a while I'll bring something up and uh, she'll check, check into it. So anyhow, I told her, I said, well, I know this uh, pharmacist. Uh, I know you're in Boulder. And, yeah. Uh, maybe, I, maybe sold my you know, I sold my pharmacy last year, though, so I don't have it anymore. Okay. Well, do, do you have any connections where she might be able to? Yeah. Tell, tell her, why don't you send me an, have her send me an email, Ben? at ksco.com and put her phone number in there. Okay, great. And, and I'll get back to her and I'll talk to her. I, the Nutrition Therapy Institute, I think if it's the one that I'm thinking of, it's on York Street. I don't know if you know where it was. Uh, it's a it's a nice setup. I actually did some, I used to speak over there many years well, I ago. I tell you what, her 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 clients just simply adore her. Of course they're That's older clients, but they well, I mean they're good deal. She's probably helping a lot of people. She's probably helping yeah, a lot of folks. Yeah. But yeah, I got another question for you, Ben. Sure, my, sure. I gave my brother a, a canister of tangy tangerine. Okay. And um, I, I told him, yeah, you know, it's recommended to sip on it all day long. Well, he was a truck driver. Okay. And he, he doesn't drink enough. And he came he came down with a uh, kidney stone. 
And he's convinced that that tangy tangerine had something to do with that. Well, I, I can't help him with that. Can, can he, you know, again, I, I don't know if you heard me talking earlier. I was talking, saying how everything's just logical. It's not, in, you don't need to be a scientist here. What does the kidney do? It filters the blood. It's a spaghetti strainer for the blood. Yeah. When the blood gets clogged, which is the only reason why we get sick, is when our blood is dirty and clogged and sticky, the f- kidney has to filter. Think of a spaghetti strainer that's got to filter out m- mud out of the spaghetti. Eventually, the spaghetti strainer is going to get clogged. That's what a kidney stone is. It's yeah. stuff in the blood. It has nothing to do with Beyond Tangy Tangerine. He definitely needs to drink more water, but it has more to do with processing, particularly minerals, calcium and such. And as we were saying earlier, that's fat metabolism. So what I'd be doing is I'd be focusing on my digestive system, especially around fats, kidney stones, any any well, kidney stones in particular, but also gallstones, any kind of stone formation, mineral stone formation. You want to think about how your body is dealing with minerals, and that means dige- that has to do with the digestive system. And I'd be going with the EFAs and the, the fatty vitamins and probiotics, all the things we talk about all the time. Not it's not the Beyond Tang Tangerine. As far as your, your you said your brother, I think, or your friend. Yeah, brother. As far as your brother goes, I never try to convince anybody. That's a fool's errand to try to talk to anybody or conv- who doesn't want to be talked to or convince anybody that doesn't want to be convinced or persuade anybody. And never well, persuade he, him. He, uh, if he's they, open. Yeah, he was, op- he, was, he was overnight in the hospital. Okay. And, they, of course, they pumped him up full of uh, uh, fluids, and he said his skin has never looked so young. So oh, he's obviously co- chronically okay. dehydrated. I'm sure that's, you know, that'll definitely cause the blood to become thick and coagulated and increase the likelihood of stones. Yeah. So he needs right. more BTT, by the way, not less. If he wants, to, if he wants help, have him call me uh, or have him write to me and put his phone number there and I'll call him and I'm glad to help. But I never help anybody that doesn't want to be helped. And nobody out there should. I get letters from people who say, how do I talk to my mom? How do I talk to my dad? Or how do I talk to my friend? You don't. You mind your own business. When they ask, then you help. If they don't ask, God loves everybody, even people who want to be sick and people who, want to, who don't want to supplement. By the way, with all due respect, I don't mean to hurt anybody or offend anybody or step on toes here, but I have noticed that there are secret agendas for folks to be sick. Not everybody wants to not be sick. All right. Anything else, my man? You want to hold on? If, no, if you want to no, hang- that's it. Okay. Thanks, okay, man. Okay, good. We got to take a break. Thanks for thanks for your call. Appreciate it. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back with more of your phone calls. Hang tight if you're on hold. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. There's actually a condition called psoriatic arthritis. Psoriatic arthritis is a combination of psoriasis and arthritis. Well, now you know why people get psoriatic arthritis. They're the same problem. They're both immune problems. They're both inflammatory problems. They're both blood issues. They're signs of dirty blood. The blood gets dirty from food. Focus on food. Now, you can also do a lot of things with fats and fatty vitamins for psoriasis. Vitamins A and D in particular, and even uh, your dermatologist knows about vitamin D. Isn't that interesting about vitamin D? How would vitamin D work topically for psoriasis? Well, it turns out vitamin D is extremely important for helping skin cells grow correctly. Vitamin D deficiency is very common. And the last thing you want to do if you have psoriasis is stay out of the sun. The best way to get your vitamin D, of course, being the sun. Eating vitamin D is good, too. But topically, you can actually apply vitamin D topically and get some benefits along with vitamin A. Vitamin A and D, in fact, topically have been shown to be quite beneficial for folks dealing with psoriasis. Remember, vitamin A and D are no mere nutrients. They are hormones. They are no mere helpers. They are actually initiators. They are actually activators. And vitamin A and D topically has some wonderful, wonderful health benefits. Vitamin A and D, of course, has been traditionally used in, as a vitamin D, A and D ointment for diaper rash and for good reason. Vitamin A and D work together to help accelerate and initiate activity in all cells, in particular skin cells. A four four two three six sixty ten is our number on the bright side. Bob in Colorado. What's going on? Where are you in Colorado, Bob? I am down by Trinidad. Oh, you got some snow? We got a blizzard here. Yeah, we did, we got the snow Saturday. Oh, uh, you we did? Got, uh, four, four inches, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're so up tri- 8,200 feet. We're up 8,200. Trinidad is 8,200 feet? No, well, we're not. outside of Trinidad. I didn't oh, know you're outside. You ever heard of Weston? You ever heard of Weston? No, nah, I never heard of Weston. What do you do out there? Are you a mountain uh, man? I'm a, disa- I'm a disabled uh, police officer, actually. Okay, okay. Are you from uh, there? I wanted to read... 
No, from... actually, uh, originally from outside of Philadelphia, and then met my beautiful wife in Florida, and then we both decided we got to get out of Florida and move here. So, good for you. Well, welcome to Colorado. 